Hey Squarespace people, today I want to show you how to make an entire section like this into a link. You see how my cursor is that little link hand symbol right there? Then as I scroll down, it's not a link, that's a link. And then I can make this section a link too. So we're going to make this entire thing a link. This works really great for my uh, slider plugin here. You can make the entire slide a link. I've had a lot of people ask about this. So I'm going to quickly show you how to build that. So let's jump into that right now. All right, I'm gonna make this really easy on you. I've ri written out a, an entire tutorial here if you want to read through and understand exactly what's happening, but I'm just going to copy and paste in the code right now. So first we would need to add a link onto our page. So I'm just gonna copy this anchor element right there. We're just gonna add in a code block right onto my page right there. And that is step number one. Now let's style this with our CSS. So if I go back to our website, we have this styling content right there. So I could just put this in our custom CSS area, but for right now, I'm just gonna put this entire thing into our page header code injection area. So that's in my uh, gear icon of the page. And because it's going up here, this has to be HTML, so I need these style tags around it. Um, but that's just, this is going to style this element and make it full height and full width. But it's just going to be full height and full width, uh, of course, due to the position absolute element of its direct parent container element. And its direct parent element is just this code block right there. It's right within there. So that's not really going to help us. It, it actually wouldn't even make this a link. It, it's really not going to do much. So what we need to do is make this entire section the direct parent of the code we just added. If none of that makes sense, if you're curious about what direct parent and child is, I have a whole CSS course about all of that. You're welcome to take that. But if you just want this to work, just copy this code right here. And that's what this JavaScript is gonna do. Notice these script tags tells our browser to process this as JavaScript. So I'm gonna jump back into our page. I've copied that, go back into our page settings, advanced, and then paste it right in there and then hit save and let's make sure we are working. And refresh, do do do, and yeah, it looks like it's working. My cursor has turned into the little clicker, the pointer event, or the pointer icon, and so we should be good. So now let me explain what all of that code is doing. All right, so what is happening here? So we have our HTML right there, and let's go back into our code, and let's just write it from scratch so you can understand what's happening. The first thing I'm doing, just write our style tags, I'm gonna grab our section link, and we're gonna apply some styles to it. So first, our anchor links, they, they default to inline block, and so I wanna change those display, Whenever you see red, that's typically a bad thing. Display them as blocks, so let's do that. Then we're gonna do this trick that sort of makes it the entire width and height of its parent container. So whatever this section link uh, element is in, we're gonna make it the full width of its parent container. So I'm just gonna say position absolute, so we're positioning it relative to that parent container, that's what that means. And then we're gonna say top, so we're positioning at the top of that. Width is gonna be 100% of the parent and then height is also going to be 100 percent of the parent so there we go so we have sort of built out this section that should take up the full width of whatever its parent element is and of course right now its parent element is that code block and that's not really going to be helpful so we want to move it we want to move this section link element to where its parent element is this entire section back here so we're sort of playing around in the html back here so i am going to write a script Oop, not a style. We need to use some JavaScript to move our elements around the DOM. The first thing I'm gonna do is write a window event listener. So I'm gonna say window dot add event listener. My dog is sneezing. I'm gonna say on load, we're gonna run a function. And that function is going to be and we're doing this because we don't want any of this code to run until the entire page is loaded. Until that anchor link is on the page, we don't want to try and move it around because if it's not, then it won't be moved. We won't have anything to move around. So first we need to grab a an array. We need to grab all of the links, all of these section links that are on our page. So I'm gonna create a variable. I'm gonna call it link. And let's just set this equal to document uh, dot. Um, um, get elements by class name 
and I'm gonna say section link. So we're gonna grab all the section link elements on our entire website. And now we're gonna run a for loop. We're gonna run through every single one of these, all of these arrays, the array of all of these links, and we're gonna do something to it. So let's initialize, let's set our initial variable uh, of i equal to zero. And then, as long as i is less than the count of all of these lengths, so I'm going to do this, as long as i, we're starting off at zero, as long as it's less than however many links we have, then we want it to run a function. But once you get to as many as the links that we have, we don't need it to run anymore, so we're not going to loop it anymore. Then I'm going to say i, so we're going to increment i every single time we go through this loop. Oop, we need semicolons there. So now opening and closing brackets there. And let's first let's get let's get the section element that it is closest to, which is right here. So I'm going to say we're just going to call this section. And we're going to say um, what are we going to get? We're going to get our link, our whatever whichever link element we're looping through at the time. We're going to find the closest closest um, page section. I think our page section, so this is the, the, the class that is within every single section in Squarespace 7.1. It has this class, page, page section. So we're going to find this element. And then as we do it, we're going to grab our section, the section that we just found, and we're going to append our link, our link to it. And that should work. I think that's what I had earlier. Let's just test it and save and see. As it runs. So oh, there we go. So that worked. All right. So that is what that is how I got to that code. And there we go. And again, like I said, this works fantastic for the slider plugin. If you want to use it on that, each one of these slides is a link in and of itself. If you want to learn more about all the code, I don't get into JavaScript in my course. It's a CSS course. But if you want to learn more about that, I have a whole course about that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help out wherever. And I hope you have a fabulous day.